Well, as many of you know, I've worked in an administration before, I've had a security clearance, and what I find completely inexcusable about this entire thing is how the government allowed this to happen in the first place, despite their so-called protocols. We do have stringent guidelines in place for safeguarding classified and sensitive information. Again, let me just emphasize my point um, that this was a, you know, we have rules in place. We do have strict protocols in place. Look, again, uh, we have procedures, we have protocols in place. We have safeguards in place. We have processes, we have procedures. Hmm. Well, joining me now is Sean Duffy, co-host of The Bottom Line on Fox Business, and Horace Cooper, Project 21 chairman. Sean, you've dealt with classified information before. You were a congressman. You know, the Pentagon press secretary, he says procedure four times, process three times, rules eight times, guidelines three times. Great if you have all these rules and guidelines, but it's like Alvin Bragg bragging, I have all these criminal laws, but I'm not enforcing them. Something is amiss. Yeah, you have protocols, but you don't use your protocols to actually keep intelligence safe. I mean, so any American who tries to sign on to their bank account knows how hard it is if you use a different server than your home server. There's like multiple authentications that you have to go through to verify that it's you, or if you try to sign into Google or, or Hotmail, these companies have protocols to verify that it's you who's getting on that server or that Hotmail account. The problem here is, yes, uh, uh, Teixeira should not have had the security clearance that he did as a National Guardsman, 21 years old, from Massachusetts, but he did, and too many people have these classifications. And he's a young man, but there are a lot of old men who are in the Pentagon and the NSA that are supposed to have procedures and guardrails that make sure that if someone like, like Teixeira tries to access very sensitive information, there are red flags, there's lights and sirens that go off that trigger that, that adults go, hey, well, why is this young man trying to access this information? Is he, d does he need it? Should he have it? And they go to his house. They go to his computer. None of that stuff happens. We've had Snowden. We've had Assange, Bradley Manning. It's not the first time this has happened, Kaylee. It keeps happening, and the government doesn't change course. And Kaylee, you know this well, $800 billion a year, and this is the kind of security we get for our intelligence? It's unbelievable. You don't hear this from, from any of our allies, any of our enemies. They don't have these kind of leaks. But America, we do. we got to change course. We have to. Horace, you know, Politico reporting, this was astounding to me. It's not uncommon for relatively junior service members to have access to top secret information. They go on to say that more than one million, one million U.S. government employees have access. Look, there are serious consequences that this country faces. We live in an extremely dangerous world. And we are probably the most attractive uh, jewel on the planet. And it's essential that we have intelligence agencies operating to make sure that we Americans are kept safe and this crown jewel is protected. When I worked in the Bush administration in public diplomacy, I too had a security clearance, and I made absolutely sure that the information that I had access to, the conversations that I had remained exclusively either uh, here or simply reported back to the appropriate parties. Never would I have thought about sharing, whether it was on a game site or at a cocktail party. Nothing of the sort. And yet, since we can't have people operate with self-restraint, self-control, what we need is an administration that recognizes how serious this is. And I started off by pointing out that this is a real threat. Our administration is far more interested in figuring out whether traditional Catholics or conservative Catholics right. <laughs> are in somehow a threat to the country rather than staying focused like a laser on the actual issues that we need. The gang of eight in the, in the Capitol need to come forward immediately and demand that there be a representation made by this administration explaining what 
has occurred. Yeah, no we are jeopardizing in many ways our relationships based on what has happened here in such a casual way by this administration that's lost its focus. Boris, you described it so well. You know, I remember the you didn't deal with classified information a lot in your capacity as press secretary and my capacity, I should say. However, I remember receiving the presidential daily brief. I got to observe it. There was a pertinent news story. Um, and you're right. I mean, I had to go into this room. Someone had to come in. Uh, they had to essentially present the information. There were so many safeguards and procedures, which, which is why it's so hard to comprehend how this happened. Sean, I want to get this in. Uh, the former press secretary, Jen Psaki, had some thoughts on the Discord leaks. She downplayed it much like her former boss. Watch. The content of what we have seen, none of that was earth shattering. The challenge, though, that's of interest to me is what are the conversations behind the scenes in foreign capitals? I mean, you have this leak, you had the Mar-a-Lago documents, classified documents laying all over the place. What do people, the Five Eyes partners, where we share our intel pretty freely with, what do they think? Sean, first of all, I seem to remember classified documents by the wheel of a Corvette. That was Joe Biden. Putting that aside, nothing earth shattering. These were private communications from the Mossad, the security forces in Israel, from the National Security Council in South Korea. We learned about new Chinese spy balloons. We learned about U.S. special forces abroad in Ukraine. Nothing earth shattering. How could she say that? Jen Psaki mentioned, she, first of all, she's a disgrace, but Hora said, he mentioned the Gang of Eight. I'm sure this is information that even the Gang of Eight in Congress doesn't have access to. And it begs the question, how has the Chinese military advanced so quickly? Uh, they, they steal the billions of dollars that we invest in planes, in ships, in missiles. They steal it whole, wholeheartedly because we haven't, haven't secured our intelligence. And again, we have to pivot. And you can't have a president, a former press secretary, or an administration that doesn't and that understand the serious nature of this. And again, I think the Congress is going to come hard on this administration, both Republicans and Democrats. This is not about a set of documents you might have in your basement at Mar-a-Lago or by your car in your garage. This is the most classified information this government has, and it was leaked. Bradley, uh, not Bradley Manning, but, but uh, to share, should never have it. You should have a small group, maybe 100 people have access to it, but not a million, as Horace Cooper just mentioned. Well, Sean and Horace, thank you very much.